All right, how y'all doing? Um, you know, I look a little scruffy right now. You know, it's 7 o'clock in the morning to be exact. But I'm deciding that the first album that I'm reviewing is Childish Gambino's Awaken My Love. Now, this CD came out like the earlier part of December. And basically, it was my favorite album. Like, I made a little list for last year for my favorite albums. And that album, that's the one that made it out as number one. So I'm thinking, you know, what better way to start off the channel than with my favorite album that I, get, that I got a little insight about. It. So, basically, Childish Gambino, a little background info. Childish Gambino, he's an artist from, he's an artist from Georgia, Atlanta to be exact. He's a producer, comedian, and he's an artist. He can rap too, but he's one of those people that you can't really put in the box. This album would be a good example, but he just came out with a uh, he just came out with a what TV show last year called Atlanta. To me, it's one of the best TV. It ain't even one of it. It is the best TV show, and it's the best TV show of 2016, honestly. And I like it because you know it it deals with it talks about black issues, but it kind of does it in like a comedic comedic way, and it kind of gives you like a little background of Atlanta me I ain't never been to Atlanta before and he kind of like he kind of giving you like the black side of Atlanta all right so without further ado let me get into the album review now coming into the CD I wasn't really expecting this CD to be him basically just singing the whole time. I was, was kind of expecting a rap album, but you know, what I'm saying I like what I, I like what I got. And essentially, he's he kind of took the route that a few rappers have been taking as of late. Like with starting the first one that comes to mind is Kendrick Lamar's "To Pimp a Butterfly," which that's basically that basically he got his sound from funk music and a few other genre, genres, but funk was like the main musical influence inside that album another artist that did it recently uh mac miller came out with a cd last year called divine called the divine feminine that basically had a lot of elements of funk and soul in it too now he kind of throughout the cd he uh he has three main topics for real as far as like what i'm getting from it one of the topics is uh police brutality or whatever showing it's basically he's talking about what's going on between African Americans and essentially the, the police of America. On songs like Boogeyman and Riot, he he's kind of saying you know African Americans are had have this stereotype or whatever, and we're seen to them as criminals and they fear us like we like. We wouldn't even get a chance, you know what I'm saying, to really defend ourselves. Like, as soon as they pop up on the scene to them, you know what I'm saying, just by the way I look, you know what I'm saying, immediately you going to, immediately they going to look at you and be like, oh, you know, he's the criminal. The second point that I got from it, for real, is he's basically talking about love. For He got a song on there called, um, I think it's called Love One Another or whatever, and he's, Basically saying, you know, kill all the hate or whatever, you know, because it's a lot, it's a lot going on these days, and it seems like in America, folks are dying every day, and he's saying, you know, you know, have love for you, have love for you, for your uh, neighbors or whatever, just have, just have love for anybody, you know, anything, any like if somebody did something wrong to you, or whatever, you know, you can, you know, forgive them, you know, you ain't gotta like them or whatever, you know what I'm saying, you. Ain't, but you, you still can love them. Not like being in a relationship type love before. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Just having love just for people. Just being an all around loving person, you know. In the song, in the song he kind of says, um, I think he says, uh, have love have love for your mother. Have time for your brother. And it, just really love one another because it's so hard to find. And it, in today's world, you know what I'm saying? Love is hard to find. And he shining light on it by saying, you know, anything like far as like grudges or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Let that, like, let it go. Essentially just all grudges or whatever you need to like, I mean, if that's if you want to, you know what I'm saying? Men knows broken relationship, like, 
life is too short to be out here just, you know, beefing with one another. And this is actually my favorite point, to be honest. All right. Basically, what he's talking about in this CD is, um, and it kind of ties into the al album cover, which I'm getting to that at the very end. But fate, but basically what he's saying is like, um, he's, he's talking about his kid or whatever, and I guess his relationship with his, ba with his baby mama. So uh, he got, it's four songs on the, to me it's like a little trilogy, it's like not even a trilogy, but it's, you know, it's like a, a chapter of what's going on. But on the song, Me and Your Mama, basically what that's saying is like um, him and his, I mean, him and his baby mama are building a relationship and, you know, they getting to know each other and, you know, everything is just, you know, coming together. Now, you get to the song Redbone, that's, a, that's one of my favorite songs of 2016, by the way. You get to the song Redbone, and basically, I guess the relationship ain't going as well as it's supposed to be. And he's basically, you know, he's he's pleading with her, you know what I'm saying, not not to leave him. And you, how the song goes, it's basically, you know what I'm saying, he just, on the song, he's basically saying, you know what I'm saying, you made me put away my pride. And it's like, you know, men have a tendency, you know, when they feel like they finna lose, or when they feel like they finna lose their woman or whatever, you know, they put away all their pride or whatever, you know, and they go ahead and, you know, tell tell their woman, you know, what I'm saying how they feel. But then, you know, on the song Redbone, you know, what I'm saying he said you try to make everything right, but it's, it's too late. That's a red. That's a, that's what I'm getting from Redbone. So then you got the next song called um, Baby Boy. On Baby Boy. Which is kind of, I, I like that song too, because it, it's kind of crazy. Cause he, on Atlanta, if you watch Atlanta, you know that he's the he's a star character on the, and like he has an off and on relationship with his baby mama, and essentially what keeps them together is the child. So, I, it was fun. It was kind of funny, you know what I'm saying? How those how the. CD, well, how that song correlates, you know what I'm saying, with what's going on on the TV show. And basically, on Baby Boy, you know what I'm saying, he, you know, I guess he's accepted the fact, you know what I'm saying, that she finna leave him or whatever, and he just plead, plead with her, you know what I'm saying, don't, you know what I'm saying, don't, don't take away my child or whatever. Got this fourth song or whatever. It's basically called, the song is called The Night Me and Your Mama Met. It's a real, it's a beautiful song, and... There's no words being said, no vocals or nothing. It's just pure instrumentation. And it's real sensual or whatever. And it's like, what I'm getting from it is like, well, he, he's saying, the night me and your mama met, you know, you was made. And that kind of, those four songs, in a way, it ties me into the album cover. The album cover, it was weird to me at first because I didn't really understand what was going on with it. But, you know, but I liked it. So it's like, the more and more I listen to the CD, Basically, what I got from the album cover is like, to me, it looks like a baby's being born, and it kind of ties into the the name of the album, "Awaken My Love," and it's like, it's like by this baby being born or whatever for him, it's giving him a whole new meaning of life. You know, is he's found something else to, you know. This baby has essentially, you know what I'm saying, changed his life and he's found a new love. But overall, you know, this is my favorite album of 2016. I recommend it for anybody. You know, if you ever have time, give it a chance. You got Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, any one of those, you know, just give it a listen. I recommend it for anybody. It's a solid 10 out of 10 uh, for me. But. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you would, you know, like, subscribe, comment to the channel. You know, let me give me any ideas of what you think I should uh, review next. Thank you.